Right, so welcome to another review guys and today we're going to take a look at the TRNBT 20s Pro um, so right off the bat um, this is a really really cool concept from TR and of course you can make your wired um, IEMs wireless and actually the TWS kind of configuration but however I'm um, in my actual usage I did encounter some issues here which might be um, a deal breaker for you guys so let's discuss what those are of course big thanks to LockLZ for sending this over um, links down below for their shop of course, let's take a look at the specs first. So this Bluetooth 5.0, just something that you want to see in 2020. Also app tech support and also works like a charm and I use this um, in my Android. Also waterproof coating in this one. Um, DSP noise reduction as well and also battery life is 70 milliampers um, in the lobes. And also what's really cool in this one is it has switchable connectors as well. So you can switch from two pin connectors to your favorite um, connector depending on the IEM that you have. So it's cool that uh, you know it's quite versatile in that sense. So in terms of build quality, um, this falls right smack with uh, under ten um dollars kind of cases. It's built of full leather and also plastics. It's some sort of semi hard case as well with a big um TRN logo. And also inside you do get your plastic adapter and also the TWS part. And also the charging part is also plastic. So for me, um, the USB C at the front as well is a bit wobbly for me. So again, um, yeah, not the most um, solid build quality. So overall for me in the build quality, of course, I'm expecting a little bit more, especially for the price that I paid for. This of volume, there's a lot of power with this one. So 20% um, does power my usual IEMs, maybe your KZs at the ZAX. And also I did try to use the blondes as well, so it's uh, around that kind of volume. So there's a lot of headroom for even more um, powerful IEMs, so pretty good in this one. However, in terms of sound, um, there's a little bit of hiss, um, especially when you're not playing um, any music. It's not a very silent um, Bluetooth adapter, so keep that in mind. So if you're you know, going to play this with uh, maybe more sensitive IEMs, um, you might encounter more noise. Now moving on to um, the issues that I encountered, and that's mostly on the connection. So um, in my initial impressions, um, I did encounter some disconnection, actually major disconnection. So what I did is I did a reset the connection. So actually after resetting, I did get a better connection. So that's nice. However, the connection issue still didn't go away. I'm still encountering some disconnection here and there, uh, but not as bad as before. So now uh, I need to wait for around one to two songs before there's uh, some um, slight stutter. So better, but still there's some connection issues encountered so yes in terms of the connection um this is uh, kind of the deal breaker for me in this one so uh, with chai fi it's kind of a hit or miss so you might get a good unit and sometimes you might not get a good unit it's a risk i'm um, getting into this one so moving on to the positive side of things and that is the actual usage for me in actual usage this is actually a very very cool um concept because yes you're converting your wired iem to a tws and that is super versatile you have that option to go wired in your day um you know wireless in your day though for me are pretty stable on the ear so you can use it for some exercising some extraneous activities the latency also is around 50 ms so definitely usable in this one you can use it for some gaming as well and also the battery life for me is really really good so it lasts a long time so definitely for most scenarios the battery would be okay with this and also on the ear this is really stable on the ear so the im does stay well and for me, it kind of looks good as well with a kind of all-in-one solution. Also having that charging case, this definitely beats out your other maybe Aptex HD connector um, because this will last a longer time in your bag. So that's really, really nice in actual use. And also the case of its most IEM. So I didn't encounter you know issues when transferring to other IEMs. And you're also getting a case as well. So it's an all-in-one kind of solution. So yeah, in actual use, it's pretty cool because it's a you know all-in-one kind of solution. Everything that you will need in your IEM is here. You know, if not for the connection issues, I think this will be one of the more essential um, tools or accessories for your IEM. All right, so verdict for the trnbt 20 s Pro. So as I mentioned, it's a love and hate kind of thing for me. I do like the concept overall. I like that it's you know stable on the ear. I like that you're you know getting wired and also wireless configuration and all-in-one kind of solution. You're getting a case uh, with pretty good battery life, and you're also getting a really stable hook on your ears. Really cool, and this one for me in terms of the overall concept. However, yes, the connection issue is uh, my major issue with this one. So I don't feel that confident in the connection with this. All right, so for me, um, do I recommend recommend it or not so for me i'm 50 50 about it so if you can ensure that the shop 
you know can give you a good unit if you can go to the shop directly so maybe it might be worth the shot there's still a chance that you can get a good unit because again uh, for chai fights kind of a 50 50 it's kind of a hit or a miss however for those people who's usually buying online or if you don't have that chance of ensuring that you will have a good unit uh, for me i wait for the next version so yes there's a chance that you might get a bad unit and that's uh, kind of troublesome for sure so sure you can still you know take the risk um, you might still get a good um, unit but of course that will be up to you uh, but I think yes for most people I would wait for the next version of this one so me personally I'm actually looking forward to the second version of this if they can you know fix um, some of the issues so you know make the case a little bit better and also the connection issue better if they can do that and uh, do that successfully I'm really excited for the next version of this one because it might be one of your essential purchases for your IEM so yes that's my take in the tier bt 20s Pro uh, of course, if you learned something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Have you already uh, gotten your tier in BT20S Pro? Are you encountering some connection issues or not? Um, let me know down in the comments below. Um, and of course, I'm going to see you guys in the next Zipol preview. Bye-bye.